talking about Google Ads for party rentals, Google Ads crash course. Yes, it's my birthday. Thank you guys for all the birthday wishes. I know some of you have messaged me. I promise I'll get back. Some of you guys have left me some awesome, awesome reviews. Thank you so much, uh, but that doesn't stop. There's no, nothing else I'd rather be doing on my birthday than talk about this stuff. Sounds crazy, but I love this. I love you guys, so I'm excited. Let's jump right into it. What are we doing here today? We're gonna be talking about party rental Google ads, okay? There's gonna be a crash course. We're gonna try to stick to just one hour, uh, and I'm gonna tell you guys everything I can about Google ads, everything I can teach you guys in that time. We're gonna talk to, about also how to get a $500 credit uh, for first-time advertisers on Google ads, and we're gonna talk about how to stop your competitors from clicking on your ads and wasting your, your, uh, your spend. It's kind of a big deal for some people. Um, so I'm gonna talk to you guys about how you can do that. And then uh, we're gonna give you guys a special offer at the end for our services. We're gonna roll out our, we're gonna announce our 2022 prices today uh, on this live here. So you guys will see them. You guys will be pretty impressed with what we have for you guys. Uh, really, really um, change it around to make things a lot easier for a lot of you guys. What it's not, this is not gonna be a detailed masterclass. Unfortunately, there's just not enough time. I have to give that disclosure every time. And no, this is not one big sales pitch for me to take your money. We're actually gonna be learning a lot. Uh, how you'll feel by the end of this. By the end of this video, this video is one of my favorite videos to do. I look forward to this video every year. I do a new one every year because Google comes out with uh, just new policies and stuff, but you guys are gonna feel great. You're gonna be celebrating. You're gonna understand Google. By the end of this, literally by the end of this, you should have an actual Google ad setup that is gonna start making you guys money. I'm not kidding. It's not just like a hype. By the end of this, you are gonna have an actual Google ad that's set up, that's set up properly. It's gonna be great. Now, why the heck are you teaching me? If you offer this as a service, what's, what's the deal? This is what I do. Uh, if, you know, the way that I see it, I would rather teach you how not to get, uh, I don't know how nicely to put this, robbed by Google. Because some, some, some of you guys are paying like $5 a click, $3 a click. Most of my clients pay 90 cents a click, right? If I can at least help you get down towards the dollar uh, uh, amount, then at least you're not getting robbed. And I know, this is what I know. I know that once you get to that point, where you are a, a, a successful business and you know what, you, you're, you're doing really well and you have to hire somebody to help with your marketing, you're gonna say, you know what, I wanna hire that guy that helped me when I didn't have to pay him anything. So that's my hope that you know I'm helping you guys today without asking for anything. And when you do get to that point, and I understand, I started out not wanting to pay anybody for anything, right? I wanted to do everything myself to save money. So I get it. Uh, there is a lot of wisdom in delegating though, right? Uh, a, a lot of you guys you still haven't gotten there yet, but you'll learn that there, there's some things that only you can do, right? And then there are some things that you can delegate out to, to people like me, like marketing, right? But only you can hire delivery guys. Only you can build a culture in your business, right? Uh, only you can do routing. I say that all the time. I've never been able to hire somebody that could do the routing for me, like three, four trucks. But anyways, those are the things you need to focus on. As long as you do things like marketing and you do it yourself, you're working in your business. You're kind of like an employee. You're not a boss. Once you're a boss, you start to say, hey, you know what? It's worth it for me to pay this guy to do it for me because my time is more valuable than my money. So once you get to that point, I hope and I know, and this has happened to me many, many times, people will watch my courses and then they'll say, you know what, Tariq, I learned how to do this, I'm doing well, but I really wanna take it to the next level, so I wanna hire you, I don't wanna pay anybody else, so that's my hope, that's how we do things. Who this is for? This is for party rental company owners. If you own another kind of business and you're watching this, scram. No, I'm kidding. You'll still learn a lot, but this, the examples I'm gonna give are specifically for party rentals, bounce houses, water slides, tents, that kind of stuff. Right? If you wanna grow your business online, but you're just not sure how, then this is exactly where you wanna be. This is the number one video you need to be watching. This is the number one place you wanna advertise. Google is where it's at. So this is how you're gonna grow your business online. If you have little to no knowledge Google Ads, you're, you're in the right spot. Don't worry, I know a lot of you guys are intimidated, like Tariq, I've never done this before. Do I really need to be, you know, you're, you're in the right spot. I'm gonna walk you guys through this step by step, I promise. If you feel overwhelmed and frustrated, or you're, you're just not sure where to start, right? This, this is gonna be perfect for you because you just feel like, man, like I know, I, know I, can, I know this is the right move for me, I just don't know how to get started. This is exactly where you wanna be. And especially for those of you guys who don't have a large budget to work with. The first company that I called to, to run my Google Ads way back when I started my business, they said I had to spend a minimum of $1,000 per month or they wouldn't even work with me. And, and I was dumb enough to say yes. I was like, I mean, I guess, you know, you guys are the pros, but uh, this is, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do a lot with a little, right? That's the main thing. And if you're already paying somebody to run your Google Ads, but you just want a better understanding of, of, of what you know impact the ads have on your business, this is gonna be great. And this is another one, you know, even when you are paying somebody, a lot of times you really don't know, like, you know, are these calls coming from your ads or are these calls coming from, you know, my organic stuff? This is gonna kind of help you keep your finger on the pulse so you understand kind of what impact the, uh, the ads exactly have on your, uh, 
on your business. So who the heck am I and why am I such a know-it-all? I'm a party rental company owner just like you guys. I, I run Bounce My House Party Rentals out of Chicago. This is my semi-messy warehouse here. Uh, I'm a digital marketer, right? So I started digital marketing to help my party rental company because I was between working two jobs and running my business, I wasn't making enough to grow my party rental company. And this is where I'm sitting right now, Vet Hawk headquarters and my little, uh, this is our spare bedroom. This is where my wife gave me permission to do what I do. <laughs> uh, and finally, I'm a college instructor. That's the one job I never quit. I love doing it. This is my first class to graduate uh, a few years ago. Uh, I teach radio, I teach CAT scan x-rays at, at a local community college. I love it. So I, I just, I, I enjoy teaching. So uh, that's the one job I continue to do. And uh, I, again, this is my Bounce Miles Party Rentals, Event Hawk. I'm a Google partner. So I have a lot of experience with Google. And then I've had articles published on news stations like NBC, Fox, and CBS. This what you're looking at here. I love sharing this picture. This used to be my warehouse, guys. This was our storage unit <laughs> after we moved out of our garage. This was my party rental business, right? And a lot of you guys can relate. I started out from my garage, then I moved to one of these uh, uh, storage units, then I got another storage unit, then I got six more. So I had eight total storage units before I said, you know what? Yeah, we need to start looking into a warehouse. Uh, it was a big jump, but I just wanted to share this picture with you guys that dreams do come true and, and you will move up. Uh, you just, I, I, if I had the kind of help that I'm giving you guys, I think I would have got there a lot faster than, than I did, but uh, you guys are, are, are in a really good situation. So real quick, a uh, couple just things that, you know, to tell you guys about me. So we already help hundreds of party rental businesses across the country. We are the most experienced marketing company in the industry. Uh, just to give you guys some perspective, last year alone, 2021, from January to December, we managed $685,000 in Google ad spend for party rental companies alone. So what does that mean? What does that mean, Tariq? You spend a lot of people's money. That's what that means. We made, we made them a lot of money too, right? So of, those, of that $685,000 that people trusted us to manage, in online bookings alone, we were able to generate $4 million in party rental business. $4 million. Let me say that again. $4 million in pretty much online booking. That does not include bookings that happen over the phone. That does not include bookings that uh, resulted from our ads that people ended up having a, a you know, punching themselves manually. That does not include bookings that happen over text or email. Just four four million dollars in bookings of people just went in and booked online. So yeah, we we have a lot of experience in in, in doing this stuff, and we are a uh, we're a five star company. We're again Google partners. We're IAPA members. So we we're we're in the industry for uh, for the long run. Uh, so before we begin, real quick, I give this just a tip every time. If you get lost, if this feels overwhelming at all, go ahead and text the word meet or comment the word meet. So if you're watching this uh, and you know, you're know you you're on uh, Facebook, you can just text the word meet and we can schedule a marketing consultation to where we can jump on Zoom with you. I'll personally get on Zoom with you. Uh, usually it's me every once in a while, one of my team members will, will jump on and help you guys out, but we'll go through um, and help you guys with marketing, answer some more of these questions. So I'm just gonna put this down here in case you guys forget. So that'll be there throughout the video. Uh, and it'll give you kind of a, a calendar where you guys can book. Let's go. Let's jump right into it. Thank you guys for being patient. So why Google Ads? Let's start with that. Okay, real quick. Um, why Google Ads? Why not SEO? Why not Facebook? A lot of you guys are, you guys do either SEO or Facebook. Google Ads is the number one search engine in the world, period. Period. What does that mean? People go to Google to search for the products that you have, right? You have bounce house rentals. You have water slide rentals. Guess what? There's people right now looking for that as we speak. And if you're not at the top, then you're just missing out big time. And that's why Google Ads works so well. It's very, very fast because there's a big demand. I talked to somebody yesterday, had a very interesting conversation. Um, actually, it was today. And he said that uh, he was, it was yesterday, sorry. Uh, he's had his business for a very, very long time. It's like 06, but he's been doing it part time because he felt that bounce house rentals were a luxury, not a necessity. So he never, he, he didn't think that there was really a demand for, for, for party rentals. It was really interesting to hear that. And I thought, wow, that's, that's why a lot of people don't really push because you don't realize how many people are looking for your business right now. Uh, it's, it's really amazing. There's people that like bounce house rentals is a thing now. It's like plumbing and anything else. So there's a lot of people looking for you right now by name. They're looking for, hey, who has bounce house rentals? They got their credit card in their hand. They want to work with you and uh, they just you just have to show up there, right? Or else you don't stand a chance. So that's the problem. When you go to Facebook, you're chasing them. When you go to Google, they're chasing you and they, they're chasing you with a credit card. They're hitting you on the head with it, right? So uh, really, really important to, to get on Google. The best part, my favorite part about Google ads, you only pay when someone clicks your ad. Let me say that again. You only pay when someone clicks. How about that, right? Well, I mean, what, what other marketing is there like that where you only pay when somebody, when you actually get a click, right? 
That doesn't mean it's a booking, right? I mean, if they click and they don't book, well, at least you know they click. So now you can say, okay, I got to click. Why didn't they book? Let me try to work on that. But you only pay when they click. I mean, that, that's, that's really amazing. If you do it right, you can only pay when they click. Um, no minimum budget, right? So like I said, when I worked with a company, they said I'd spend at least $1,000 a month. Google Ads does not have a minimum budget. You can spend a dollar a day if you want. I wouldn't recommend that, right? We'll talk like 10 bucks a day, five bucks a day, it could get you far. Uh, and then there's no long-term commitment, right? You can switch your Google Ads on and off anytime. And most importantly, Google Ads works. So if everything I'm describing here, uh, if it's getting you excited, then you're in the right place because this is like a dream come true. Google has put together a really great product that's a no-brainer. And if you're not using it, you're really, really missing out, especially when your average ticket is two, three, four hundred dollars and your average cost per click is like under a dollar, like the customers we help. It's a no brainer. So real quick, I'm not gonna go through my whole spiel about SEO versus Google Ads. I'm just gonna show you guys real quick because a lot of people are like, Tariq, I don't get it. What's SEO? I need SEO, I need SEO because we're just accustomed to that. This is SEO versus Google Ads, right? Real quick, at the top, you have your Google Ads all the way at the top, right? And then under that, you have SEO. So. I always recommend you guys promote, work on your Google ads first before anything else, because for you to get here and here, it could take weeks or months for you to get here. I can, if I was managing your ads, I can get you up here as soon as tomorrow. And within one day, I can get you two, three bookings possibly, right? So why would you wait months to get up here when it's, it's under here? The downside is Google ads. Once you stop paying, they disappear. These listings, they stay up for a while. So you should work on all three because the dream is you want to show up here, here, and here all at the same time. It's possible if you work on your SEO and your Google ads, it's going to be expensive. It's going to cost you some money and time. But if you're serious about your business, then you should pay somebody to help get you in all these spots. Not everybody can do that, right? And that's okay. So that's why when I say, I don't, I'm not saying SEO is not important, right? But if you had to prioritize one, if you're starting out like Tariq, I don't have a big budget. I don't, I don't know what to, where to start. I can't do all this at once start with Google ads and just, just trust me, you'll do very, very well. Okay. So what's possible with Google ads or AdWords as they call, it. let me show you guys some, some, some numbers here. These are some people who we've met just thir in 30 days, this company spent $244 and they made $3,700. This company in 30 days spent $600 and made $7,000. And this company in 30 days is a big company spent $2,000 and made $46,000. Why am I showing you this? because I'm the best, because I can show you how cool I am. Yes, but also to show you that that's the benefit of Google Ads. I can tell you exactly how much money you made for, from every single click. For every dollar that you spent on Google Ads, I can tell you how much money you made. It, that's, that's very hard to do with Google Maps. It's very hard to do with Google. So it's possible there are ways to calculate all that, but it's just, it's just very, very complex. And it's just really, at the end of the day, this is where you're gonna be. It's, it's a lot simpler and straightforward and faster to do it this way. So. With Google Ads, you can target specific locations. So let's say you service a, a, a 50 mile radius, but you're like, you know what, you know what, Tariq? This 10 mile radius here, this is where all the mansions are at, right? This is where all the rich people hang out. So can I can I just show them my heck yeah, you can. If you do it right, you can set your ads to only target that area. Or you could set your ads to target multiple areas and say, hey, for that rich neighborhood, I want to spend a little bit more because I, I want to know, I want to show up more. You can do that with Google Ads like, like this, just really fast. With SEO, it takes a really long time, and uh, and you can get work close to home. So if your warehouse, you're sick of traveling an hour each way, you can say, hey, you know what? I just want to run my ads nearby. Uh, or let's just say you have a um, you know you have a busy weekend and you have like this one event all by itself in the middle of nowhere, and you're like, man, I have to travel all the way over there just for one event. You can run some ads for that weekend, just like you know a few days before, and and try to get more work in that area. And you can do that like like this, like we do that all the time. So it's that's what I love about Google Ads. You could just it's very very you could it's very flexible. And again, if you're using a booking software like Inflatable Office or or a BCN or something like that, we can track the ROI either on an average or even down to the penny, uh, so that you know exactly how much money you made uh, for every click. So that's what's possible with Google Ads. I hope you guys are excited because you should be. This is, this is how important this is. So how soon do you see results with Google Ads? As soon as your ad is approved, usually in the same day, uh, it's your, 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 um, your, your ad goes up and then you'll start seeing results. It's not a one-time gig. What does that mean? You don't just wanna do it like, uh, you know, just you know, here and there. Uh, it's something you definitely wanna keep up. It does require continuous management because what happens is your ad goes up and then your competitors start seeing your ad and then they're like, oh, I'm gonna run an ad too. And they're like, well, I'm gonna spend five bucks a click. And that's what kind of screws things up. Uh, but newer ads require more frequent optimization until Google kind of gets to know you a little bit. Uh, and then Google ads can be expensive or affordable. You decide. The better you follow Google's uh, guidelines, which I will teach you today. 
the, the lower your cost per click, okay? How does Google Ads work? You need to understand this. If your ads are clicked, then Google charges you a cost per click, okay? If your ads are clicked, Google charges you a cost per click that's called CPC. Your cost per click, how much does it cost? Well, it depends on a lot of factors, but they include the relevance of your ad, right? If, if I'm searching for bounce house rentals and your ad says, how, you know, uh, um, you know, car, car repair, then you're going to get a, it's going to cost you a lot, right? Um, so you have to get those keywords, right? Your website, if I'm searching for bounce house rentals, but your website talks about, um, you know, event rentals, then that, that also has an effect, believe it or not. Uh, because I, I typed in bounce house rentals, your ad said bounce house rentals, but then I click on a website, it says, it doesn't say bounce house rentals anywhere. Google's like, are you trying to, you know, what are you trying to do right here? Right? So all that matters. And then it also matters on how often people are clicking your ads. So you have to really design compelling ads for people to click. Uh, bear with me. I'll show you guys a lot of this stuff in a bit. Uh, if people don't click your ads, then you don't get charged. But the, the, the more people click, the, the, the less you get charged because you get usually a higher score. Um, and then your, your cost per click also depends on your competitors. This is a big one because Google Ads is an auction. Google Ads is an auction. If you follow all the rules, but you have some competitor with all due respect is an idiot and he's spending five bucks a click, it's an auction. So Google wants their money. So they're still going to give it to them. So you're going to have to bid a little bit higher. These are situations where I will flat out call your competitor. Be like, hey man, listen, I'm running ads for your competitor and uh, you don't have to spend $5. If you really want to be at the top so bad, I'm telling you, I'm looking at numbers. You could be, you could spend $3 and still get up there. Just don't ruin it for the rest of us. So <laughs> I've had those conversations. Uh, it's, it's important. So let's talk about Google Ads structure. This is really, really important. Pay attention. Uh, you don't really have to take notes because once I'm done, I'll tell you screenshot this and this should really help you, okay? So how is the Google account structured? You have your Google Ads account right here, okay? So this is your account. The account is broken up into campaigns, okay? Uh, in each account, you put a campaign. What does campaign mean, right? And the best way that I've found to use this is you wanna use each campaign as a product category. And I'll show you guys an example in a bit. Don't worry about it. Product category, okay? So uh, if you have, uh, so you want to have like a campaign for bounce houses, a campaign for water slides, a campaign for tents, each of your products should have its own category. Okay. That's what you want to think about a campaign. Then within each campaign, there's ad groups. Okay. Now ad groups are going to be a, a subcategory of your, of your product category. Uh, so for example, you have, you know, bounce houses, you just want to have like words that are, that match. So you want to have bounce house ad group and an inflatables ad group. A, uh, a wedding tent ad group and a uh, party tent ad group. You just want to kind of look at the words there and I'll explain a little bit because each each ad group has keywords and ads in it, okay? If you're confused, that's fine because this is going to make a lot more sense right now. Ready? Here we go. So how would a party rentals Google Ads account be structured? It would be structured as so. In the account, you would have campaigns. Every single one of you guys should have pretty much two campaigns and this is a big problem that I see a lot of people just have one you need at least two if you're doing bounce houses and water slides. Each one of those needs its own campaign, okay? When you do, when you give each one its own campaign, you give each one a budget. Uh, you can give each one a distance, right? A big problem that I see, and, and this is what I want to take a, a time to, to talk about. A lot of you guys, I don't know if somebody set your ads or if you did it yourself, you put all of your ads in one campaign and you say, all right, I'm going to spend 30 bucks a day, okay? For my bounce houses, water slides, tents, chairs, tables, all that. Here's the problem. There's more people searching for tables and chairs than bounce houses. So your budget, your 20 or $30 a day, the tables and chairs are gonna eat that up and they cost $2, right? What do you rent your chair for? $2, $2 whatever. Your, your budget gets used up and you have no more budget. When somebody's looking for that bounce house or that tent, that three, four, five hundred dollar event, your ads disappear because you, you shared the budget between the chairs and the bounce houses and the tents. The right way to do it is to give each item its due, uh, um, its due budget. So if bounce houses are my biggest money maker, I'll give bounce houses, let's say $10 a day all by themselves, right? Nobody touch the budget for bounce houses. I want bounce houses to have their own budget and I can set a distance. I'm willing to travel 20 miles for a bounce house rental, right? Now for chairs, let's say I want to run an ad for chairs and tables, right? I'm willing to spend maybe $5 a day and that's all they get. And I'm willing to travel five miles for tables and chairs because I don't make much off those, right? Because some people just want like five chairs. It's, it's weird. Tents, right? Tent rentals. I, my average tent rental is like $600 and up. I've had thousands of dollars on tent rentals, wedding tents, things like that. 
So I'm going to spend maybe $20 a day on tent rentals, right, for my tent campaign, and I'm willing to travel 50 miles. That's the way you want to set it up. It's more work. It's harder. But once you set it up that way, you get you just skyrocket and you're in full control. So let's circle back to this here. We'll, we'll circle back to that in a bit. But I, I wanted to share that because I see too many of you guys, you just have party rentals and, and you have everything in, in there. So the way you want to do it is you want to break up the campaign into ad groups that have similar key phrases, similar keywords. So bounce houses is going to break up into bounce houses. But what's another word for bounce houses? I've already done the research, so I know this, but think about it. What is another word that people search in your area? What do they call a bounce house? Okay, because if you have another word for bounce house, such as inflatable, right? Uh, and you only have one set of ads, when somebody types in bounce house rental, okay, they're gonna see an ad that says bounce house rental, that's good. And then they're gonna go to a website that says bounce house rental, perfect. Here's the problem. If somebody types in inflatable rentals and then they see an ad that says bounce house rentals, Google says that doesn't match. They charge you more. So you want to have separate ad groups with separate keywords. When somebody types in the word inflatables, you want to show them an ad that says inflatables. When somebody types in the word bounce houses, you want to show them an ad that says bounce houses, right? Again, it's more work, but it's this is how you save money and you go a lot farther and google loves when you do that they give you a high quality score and you do you go a lot farther okay and for water slides there's not really many too many different searches right for bounce houses you might have moonwalks you might have jumpers you could have a lot of different ad groups for bounce houses for each one uh a lot of different words for bounce houses water slides you could say inflatable slides whatever but water slides you know you might not have one so each one is going to have keywords and ads so here in the bounce house ad group, in the bounce house campaign, I'm gonna say the keyword I wanna target these ads is bounce house rental, and I'm gonna create ads that say bounce house rental. Here, I'm gonna create ads that say inflatable rent. I'm sorry, I'm gonna put, if somebody searches using the keyword inflatable rental, I wanna show them an ad that says inflatable rental, right? I hope that makes sense. So, bouncy castle, perfect, Messiah. So, if somebody, I would create a whole separate ad group for bouncy castles. You don't wanna put, bouncy castles as a keyword in the in the bounce house uh, uh ad group because if somebody types in bouncy castle and you put bouncy castle as a keyword here they're going to see the bounce house ads and google is going to say well they search for bouncy castle but you chose to show them a bounce house ad bounce house and bounce castle that doesn't match exactly kind of matches so they're going to give you a lower quality score they're going to charge you more per click and they're not going to show your ads to as many people either i hope that makes sense it's, it's again, it's more work. And I, I will say um, I have a master class on Facebook ads, but I don't have a master class on Google ads. I feel like Google is a lot more analytical. If you're not in it every day, uh, it, it's easy to forget. If you're interested in learning Facebook and Instagram ads, just put that in the comments and I can send you guys. It's a paid class. I have like a one hour video like this, but I will say uh, the reason I'm mentioning it, it's, it's a lot easier to learn consistently right you can learn you're gonna do well today what I'm gonna teach you today you'll do well the problem we have is people forget and they don't maintain it because you're not in there a lot and you forget but I will say if this seems a little overwhelming that it might be better to hire somebody to do that and learn social media ads the reason I say that is because with social media marketing it's more visual it's easier to retain than Google Ads so just keep that in mind um, if, if it's too much that's okay you will get by today but if you're interested in learning social media marketing uh, go ahead and, and put that in the comments and I can send you guys my, my uh, master class but let's look at some um, yeah so we, we do reduce costs by 200 to 300 percent by doing this I get people come to me all the time they're paying three dollars and up per click two dollars and up per click when we set it up this way the way I'm telling you we get them down under a dollar because again we put in the work we, we have the experience so it works it's worth it to, to, to reduce the cost uh, and when we're spending six hundred thousand dollars, that would have been two, three times that if we didn't do it right. So that's that's why it's important. So this is what I was saying here. If you go into your Google Ads account and it looks like this, there's just one campaign that says party rentals, and there's six hundred keywords in there. You're just doing it all wrong, right? You want your campaigns to look like this: bounce houses for its own campaign, obstacle courses for its own campaign, water slides with its own campaign. That's how a Google Ads account that's properly structured should look like. Again, it's more work. But you do very well why is that this is I love this visual every time I share this visual people fall in love with it they're like great example uh, I, I really really love this you really have to choose what you want 
you can run your ads and in general with all your marketing like if you can hunt you're hunting for clicks that's essentially what we're all doing you can hunt for clicks with a grenade or you can hunt for clicks with a sniper with a grenade you're just gonna you're gonna get a ton of clicks but you're gonna get a lot of low quality clicks right so to do that you're gonna set less specific campaigns you're gonna set less specific ad groups because it's easier and you're gonna have a ton of keywords that Google just tells you to do. It's gonna be easier. You could set up a Google ads campaign in like five minutes and you're done. You're like, all right, I did it. And now you're gonna get a ton of clicks and guess who's gonna be clicking your ad? You're gonna get people clicking your ad looking for house rentals instead of bounce house rentals, right? Uh, or Airbnb rentals. So it's, it's better to, to take your time and set it up and hunt with a sniper. You wanna have more specific campaigns, more specific ad groups and less but more specific keywords. So let's set up a bounce house campaign. Here it is, here's the part you guys have all been waiting for. I'm gonna share my screen and you guys are literally gonna look over my shoulder as I set up a bounce house campaign. You guys ready? All right, so real quick, if this is your first time, uh, if, you, if you have no idea what I'm talking about and you don't even have a Google Ads account, then you need to set up a Google Ads account. Now, I promised you guys the whole $500 thing. Right now, there is a um, there is a, a link out there where Google, if you go to start a, if you go to start a Google Ads account, they'll tell you we'll give you hundred dollars. But I have this link that I'm going to share with you guys. It says claim five hundred dollars when you start today. Okay. If you go to their website, it's going to say hundred. But I have this link that I'm going to share with you guys right now. Unfortunately, it's only for new advertisers. Okay. So uh, if, if you already have a Google Ads account this won't qualify. I think the way it works is you have to spend $500 and then they give you $500. Um, but I know a lot of you guys are like, all right, well, I'll just start a new account. I think they'll flag your account if you use like the same credit card number, maybe even the same website. I don't know. So I, it's not worth it. If you already have a Google ads account and you've been running ads, I would not uh, do this. I'm going to go ahead and share this link with you guys. Uh, go ahead and save it. Don't click it right now because you'll leave the video, but um, get $500 in free Google ads credit. All right, so I just pasted that link in the comments uh, and, and you just click redeem now and you'll create an account, okay? Once your account is created, then you can follow along with what I'm about to show you, all right? Let me just make sure everybody is in here. Okay, so this is what it's gonna look like when you're in. When, once you get started, you're gonna, uh, you're gonna see something like, that looks like this, okay, to start your, to create a, 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 an ad, okay? Or you're gonna see something that that is a smart campaign. And those are like literally, I don't wanna say the worst thing, but I gotta warn you guys against smart campaigns. Google is gonna push these on you like, like nothing else. They want you to do smart campaigns and they're really dumb, honestly. I mean, it, uh, well, they're getting better, but smart campaigns essentially are like run by AI, right? Google wants you to trust them to do everything with AI. They'll call you all the time. Um, so if you see smart campaign, I'd like disabled it for mine, but if you see smart campaign, if you go ahead and create a campaign and it says smart campaign somewhere, look for something that says like switch to expert mode or uh, ex uh, leave expert or leave guidance or something like that. You wanna get to a screen that looks like this, okay? Uh, a lot of you guys are gonna have a different screen. You wanna get to this screen and that's gonna help you uh, set it up like a pro, like what I'm about to show you right now smart campaigns they take away a lot of the features so that you cannot um you, you don't get to really customize and use those cost saving features so google starts by asking you this question what's your objective sales leads website and all of us are gonna say oh i want sales nope don't fall for the trap you want to say i don't want your help google i want to do this all on my own okay because once you do this they just remove a bunch of features or remove a bunch of customizations you want to stick to create custom well without a goals guidance okay Next, they say, what kind of ad do you want? Do you want like a YouTube ad, app ad? We wanna do search, all right? So number one, create a campaign without goals guidance. Number two, you're gonna click search, okay? Because we want a search campaign. If you already have conversions set up, you'll see them here. You can just ignore that uh, and just click continue, okay? Next, it's gonna say, what do you want? Phone calls, app downloads, website visits. This one you could fill out and just put in your website. So I'll, I'll put in my website, for example, okay? Uh, and, and you want I mean, you want to use like HTTPS, you want to do the full website, okay? Um, and then here you want to give your campaign name. So I'm going to name this campaign Bounce House, Bounce Houses, okay? That's just internally, it's a name for me to know what it's about, okay? So uh, once you do that, you're going to click continue. 
and it's saying that I already have a draft. Uh, I'm just going to start new. Should have gave it a different name. I already had one in draft. Sometimes it takes a minute to load this next screen. What is your daily budget? Okay, uh, this is an important question. Remember, this is specifically for bound sales. Is how much are you willing to spend a day? I get this question all the time. Tariq, how much should I spend on my Google Ads? Any less than $5, you're doing yourself. Just don't even waste your time. But this is per day. $10 is a really good place to start. If you could start $10 on a campaign, uh, that's really good. And I'll show you guys how to, how to set it so that you can get a lot out of that. Uh, remember, some days you'll spend $10, some, day, some days you won't because, uh, you know, it's, it's, a, uh, it's, it's, it's based on demand. So I would recommend you start with $10. You can do $5. Um, and Google's going to tell you to start on 20. Real quick disclosure, when Google recommends something, be very, very cautious. I love Google, but they're out for themselves, not for you. So you're going to get phone calls from Google. You're going to get recommendations from Google. The worst thing you can do is just accept the recommendation without talking to somebody who knows uh, your industry. I've, I've literally fought and, and, and burned bridges with marketers because they didn't understand the party rental industry. And they're like, no, that's not how you do it, Tariq. Like, listen, man, you don't know what you, you, you don't know, you don't get it. You know, what, what works for you doesn't work for me. Our industry is like a unicorn. It's really, really unique. So uh, don't always fall for these recommendations. Talk to somebody who's actually in the industry. So $10 is what I would recommend you start with. Now, here they're saying, what do you want to focus on? And they, they default to conversions. Again, you got to be very careful. They give you these options, right? And you want to you want to say I want to select and look how they hide this. It's not recommended. Anytime something's not recommended, I usually recommend it <laughs> because it's it's usually uh, going to give you more power, right? Uh, so you click I want to select my own goal, not recommended, and then you want to switch it over to uh, this is the one that I use, but this takes a lot of uh, manual uh, um, optimization. If you're just going to do like a one and done, or you're just not going to be in there all the time, I would do maximize clicks. Okay. So it says maximize clicks, and I'll explain what this means in a sec. Um, and this means just, you know, I want to get the max amount of clicks possible for $10 a day. Well, do you want to set a maximum? Absolutely. I paid $16 a click one time because I forgot to, to set this up. No joke. Uh, set a maximum cost per click. I would recommend putting this at a dollar. Okay. To start, 10 bucks, 10 clicks a day. Uh, you can set it at 50 cents if you want. You can set this to whatever you wanted to. Okay. This is what I recommend. What does this mean? You're telling Google, Google. I want to get as many clicks as possible for $10. I don't want to spend more than $10 a day, and I don't want to spend more than a dollar a click. What is Google going to do? Google is going to find, look at the whole day, and it's going to see what hours of the day there's the least people competing or least people running ads, and um, they're going to, to run your ads during those times. So when you set it to maximize click, clicks like this, I don't personally do it or I don't, I don't, I mean, sometimes I'll start with it, right? But eventually you want to get to, to, to manual. Okay. Uh, but this is good because it gives you the max amount of clicks. The bad thing is it may show your ads at like 3 a.m. because there's nobody advertising at that time. It'll show your ads at the least competitive times, which could be good or bad. It's good because it saves you money, but it's bad because maybe those are the times when people are, are actually willing to book. So, um, but it's a good place to start because uh, until you get more data, then you could, I usually start with this one. And then after I get, I don't know, like a hundred clicks, then I'll switch to manual because I have more data in there. Then you click next. And this is a very big one. Okay. <laughs> this one is one of the biggest mistakes most people make. Google defaults to show your ads on the search network and the display network. Okay. You want to uncheck both of these right off the bat. And it's going to tell you, what are you doing? You idiot. You're making a terrible mistake. Don't listen. Remember what I'm telling you. What these are, are these are um, other places that your ads will show, kind of like when people are not really searching, right? Uh, it's just it's just kind of in the, in the periphery of their search, and it's just wasting your money. You don't want to show your ads there, especially when you have a tight budget. You want your ads to show only when people are specifically searching for what you're offering, okay? So uh, uncheck both of these, trust me. Next, where do you want to target your ads? And this is where it gets kind of fun. You want to enter another location and you're going to click advanced search. So this is where you can select certain cities or a radius around your area. Okay. So you can literally, I mean, uh, let's just say, I don't know, uh, you know, like I could target all of Chicago, which would be dumb, but, um, 
So I can target the city, the whole city of Chicago. Okay. But if I have a tight budget, maybe I know one zip code, like, you know, this zip code is where all the mansions are at, right? So I'm going to go and I'm going to target just this zip code here. And I'm going to kind of try to go after more of this. Okay. So you can do that. You can target a bunch of zip codes. You can target a bunch of cities. Uh, I usually just do a radius, right? So uh, if I have, you know, 60482, like you do zip code, and I say, you know, I want to target the 10 miles around this radius. Oops, did I not? So you put a, and I want to do 10 miles. Quick tip, guys, if you serve a big area, you, you don't necessarily have to, if you, let's say you have a 50 mile radius, you don't want to run ads in that whole 50 miles. Run ads in the, in the first 15 miles or 20. So this way you don't pay, because the people who are like around the 50 miles on the edge, they're going to have a very high delivery fee and there's a good chance they won't book with you, right? So you don't want to pay for those clicks. You want to pay for the clicks that are close to home, low delivery fee, um, uh, low labor costs, low gas cost. And this way you don't, you know, you don't end up spending a lot of money on, on clicks and you end up spending a lot of money on gas, a lot of money on payroll. Uh, so that's what I would recommend. So this is where you can set that. Uh, and, and then you're good. Now, again, this is the biggest mistake that I see. People have these checked. You want to make sure these aren't checked after you've selected your area. You want to go into location options. This is something, this is another big mistake. Google hides this feature. You want to click on location options and you want to uh, say it defaults to showing your ads to anybody who is in, regularly in, or who showed interest in your location. So I put a zip code here. By default, Google is gonna show my ads not only to people who live in that zip code, they're also gonna show my ads to people who are interested in that zip code. So think about that for a second. If you're in Florida and you're, you have this option checked, people in Chicago, that are interested in traveling to Florida are going to see your bounce house rental ads. Now, how likely am I to travel to another, to another state and, and rent a bounce house? I, I've done it once actually. <laughs> I've rented from one of my clients uh, because we were at, at an Airbnb and we rented a water slide. Uh, but really, I mean, it's very unlikely. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and hit presence. I only want to target people who live regularly in this location. I don't want to target people that are traveling to this location. It's very unlikely that they're going to rent. That's, this is a good feature for like car rentals, right? Because if you're traveling to Florida, then you're probably going to rent a car in Florida. But bounce house rentals, that's not what we do. So you just want to switch this one over. This is a very big waste to have it the other way. Um, you'll do very well by doing it like this, okay? So that's a very big one. Switch it to presence here, and that's located in location options. You can skip over languages. You could skip over audiences. I get this question all the time. Tariq, should I be targeting uh, women? Should I be targeting men? It does not matter. The people are targeting you on Google Ads. This is stuff that matters on Facebook, on Instagram. And, and we talk about that in, in those courses. But in Google, Google is not very good at targeting. Forget about it. Don't, don't, buy, don't waste your time with targeting. Because if somebody's searching for bounce house rental near me, I don't care if they're a boy, if they're a girl, I don't care how old they are. They're looking, to, they're scheduling a party, right? Uh, I, I, want, I want them to get by click. So that's it on this page. You're going to hit next. And this is the big one here. This is where you go ahead and you set your keywords. The biggest mistake you can make is listen to Google. Here you go. Look at all these keywords that Google gave us. You're like, oh, you should use all these keywords. Oh, man, what a big mistake. Half of these keywords, like water slide rentals and water slide rentals near me, you don't need, the way that it works is you, you need the one that's, that uh, if, if you do it right, then you can just use water slide rentals and it'll target both. So what I do is I get rid of all of these, literally every single one. You need one keyword, guys, one keyword only. You guys ready to hear it? This is like a big secret, right? If, I, if you do this, it's all you need, okay? I've done the research. I've spent, like you said, I saw more, more than half a million dollars this year, this past year alone on Google Ads. There's one top keyword. There's a lot of different keywords you could use if you have the budget. Most of us, we're on a tight budget or we, we just want to get at least the, the most, uh, the, the biggest keyword with the, with the highest purchase intent. People who use this keyword are very, very likely to, or more likely to book than others. Here it is. You ready? Bounce house rental, period. That's it. You don't need any other keyword. That's, that's the only keyword you need. Once you use that keyword and you're like, Tariq, I'm spending... My budget is 
$30 a day and I'm only spending 10 because I'm getting all the bounce house clicks, then you could come talk to me about other keywords. That never happens, by the way. This one keyword will keep you so busy, you'll be fine. Now, very important, you wanna put this keyword in quotations, okay? What that does is that says, Google, I only wanna show my ads to people who search for bounce house rental in this order. If you do not have these quotations, believe it or not, somebody who is searching for the word bounce or the word house or the word rental will see your ads. I kid you not. If somebody searches for house repair, they may see your ad if you have bounce house rental like this. If you put it in quotations, Google is getting better at this, but unless you put it in quotations, it's called phrase match, then uh, they're, they're, if you put it in quotations, it has to be in this order. Now they could have like words before it or after it, like they can have unicorn bounce house rental, you'll still target that ad. They can have bounce house rental near me, your ad, you'll still uh, uh, work for that ad. But as long as you have it in this, uh, in this order, then you're good. For water slides, it would be the same thing. Water slide rental, and for tents, it would be the same thing, tent rental. If you do those in quotations, you, you'll do very, very good for a very long time. Okay? So this tells Google, this is what I want. When people search this keyword, I want them to see my ad. Okay? What does your ad look like? That's the next step. Now, what you're looking at here is called a responsive search ad. What that means is you give Google a bunch of different options and, um, and then they will pick which one works best. <clears throat> Don is asking single or double quotes, uh, just, just quotes. It's next to, here, I'll put it in the, uh, put it in the comments. Just, I don't know, maybe it's hard to see. Let me zoom in a little bit. Get my face out of here. So just bounce house rental with, I mean, I guess these are called double quotes. I think the other one's called a comma, but uh, I'm not, not a grammar teacher. Uh, so this is next to the enter key, two keys away from the L, two, key, two keys to the right of the L key is the one you wanna use, right? Uh, you want to hit shift, shift, ah, I'm breaking this down real, getting a little crazy at this. So this is, this is what you want to do here. Okay. I put it in the comments. <laughs> All right. Um, good question though. Thank you. Keep them coming. So, uh, now what I prefer to do is I prefer to create my own ad. Cause remember I told you guys, your ad needs to match the keyword it needs to match the website. Unfortunately, Google is really pushing away from that. Now you can still do it. There are workarounds but it's, I'll probably confuse you if I show you how. So what Google wants you to do is they want you to give them a bunch of different ad, uh, headlines and a bunch of different possibilities. And Google wants their AI to figure out, hey, you know what? I think Don would like to see this variation and I think Mary would like to see this variation. I would just do that for now. Um, so you're gonna go down the list. This is where you're gonna send them. So if somebody is <clears throat> looking for bounce house rentals, try to send them to your bounce house page, right? Don't send them to your home page. Send them to your bounce house page. Make sure your bounce house page talks about bounce house rentals. Make sure there's enough there for them, for them to see, right? <clears throat> then here, the display path, this is like a fake path that you can put together for them to see that you're talking about. You wanna use the keyword in here as well. So what you wanna do is you wanna use the keyword in every single one of these fields pretty much. So in this field here, the display path, I'm gonna put bounce house rental. Okay, it says it's too long, so I'm gonna, Put bounce house in the first one and rental in the second one. I'll zoom in a little bit to make it easier for you guys to see. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna put in a display path. Next, we have the headlines. So <clears throat> with the ad, there are two main sections. There's the headlines and then there, there's the description. At any given time, Google will display up to three, dis three headlines and up to two descriptions. So you could put 10 headlines and 10 descriptions, but they're, they're gonna pick two to three to show and, and one to two here. So remember, your headline needs to match your keyword, okay? So I would say the word, the word bounce house rental needs to be in there somewhere, okay? And you can add stuff to it. So I got 30 characters. Um, so you could say number one bounce house rental. You could say, um, you know, best bounce house rentals. Uh, you could say bounce house, or you could say, you know, uh, Orlando bounce house rentals is a good one. So even though you service a lot of different cities, you can pick like your main city and uh, 
And this way people are familiar. Okay, I don't live in Orlando, but I'm right next to Orlando. So obviously they service me as well. That's a good option. So you want to try to have this word. Now, I mean, I don't know if you're going to be able to get it in every single one, but I like to put things like, you know, we deliver, you know, we deliver, um, we deliver and set up. You can say things like clean on time delivery. So ideally, this is what I would want my ad to look like. Orlando bounce house rentals, okay? Um, clean on time delivery, we deliver and set up, okay? I would like to build an ad that only shows these in this order. Now you can do that here, like you can pin them, right? Um, that's one way to do it. So this way they, they kind of freeze. You still have to kind of put other headlines. Uh, I don't know, if, let's, let's see if it'll let these slide here. But <clears throat> see, pin. Um, show only in option one. I don't usually work in this one here, but this might be a good way to do it for now. Okay, so that should work. This way you've frozen them so that Orlando bounce house rentals, we deliver and set up clean on time delivery, for example. You wanna kind of just, this is an art, right? It's kind of something we specialize in, but you could split test different things and see what your which ones get the highest click through rate. The description, you get 90 characters. Uh, you can say something like, looking for bounce house, I'm gonna use that keyword, bounce house uh, rentals near Orlando, question mark. We have many themes available. Uh, book today, okay? So something like that. Now notice I do capitalize the first letter of every word. Google prefers that. Uh, if <laughs> that's how I could tell if somebody has a, a, a professional marketing their ads. If, if you look at your if you look at your competitors' ads and you see that the first letter is capitalized, that's how you know they probably they probably hired somebody, probably me, uh, to, to to run their ads. <clears throat> so that's what Google prefers. It looks more professional, looks cleaner. So that's that'll kind of help you out a little bit. Uh, then you need a second description. Um, our Bounce house rentals are clean and delivered on time to your event. Call now. And slow. Bounce house rentals are clean and delivered on time to your event. <clears throat> okay, again, th these are just examples here. Don't, you know, this is just an example. Um, so again, this is an art. There's, there's a lot that goes behind it. Put a lot of time studying what makes an ad clickable, but these are just kind of examples here for the sake of example. You, should, you definitely want to split test. Uh, I'm going to pin these here and see if that works. Again, I usually kind of go through a workaround, a more you know, detailed way to build these ads, uh, but it's, it's very confusing. So this should work here. Let's see if it allows me to do this. And now I'm done. So this is what my ad looks like. Orlando, I mean, it's, it's a good looking ad, right? So now I hit next. And you should add these here. Uh, site links, they just make your ad larger. They're like specific pages. Uh, you can add those in. Does it show a preview here? So it shows those ads under your, or sorry, those links under your, um, your, uh, your ad, those links to specific pages. So like you'd wanna have one for bounce houses, one for obstacle courses, um, one for water slides or something like that. Uh, and one for, I don't know, just like one for each, each thing, each category. This is kind of like a dummy account, but this is basically what this would look like. This is my ad, bounce houses, water slides. So they can go right away to that page. You want to, if you put a call extension, call out extension, these are things that kind of make your business uh, unique. Uh, call extension, you can put your phone number on here on the ad. Uh, an image extension, you should definitely start to utilize. You put an image next to your ad. We're going to skip over these for now, uh, but they're, they should be pretty easy to add. Once you're done, it says uh, no traffic is expected. You can increase. Target. Save. And let's hit review. 
All right, that's it. So I got everything. I got no mistakes here. I have published campaign and it should go live. That's it, guys. That's how you do it. Uh, so now if I go to campaigns, I have my bounce house campaign, $10 a day. I click on it. It's got one ad group in there. Okay. I should create another one for inflatables. I'm going to call this one, you know, bounce houses. Well, I mean, that'll, but this is my first ad group. I want to have, I'll show as the notes here let's circle back to the um to the to the presentation here and I'll, I'll explain some of the stuff that we did here for you guys and just so it'll make a lot more sense so you guys notice what i said about the um the keywords matching everything else you want to have the keywords that you selected in your ad group like bounce house rental it has to match your ad right so you want the keywords that you put in the, in the uh, setup, you want to put those same keywords in the ad, and you want to put those same keywords on your website. That's how you get the highest quality score. If the keyword they use, bounce house rental, water slide rental, tent rental, is also used in your, uh, in your ad header, in your um, <clears throat> display path, in your ad description, and then also that same keyword is used on the website, then that's how you get the highest quality score. So that's why we do it that way. You want to have each ad group with its own keyword that matches its own ads that goes to a page that talks about that. It's a lot of work, but if you do it right, that's how you get those lowest cost per clicks. Match types. This is really uh, detailed, but uh, this is the one that we used to use the most. It's called broad, uh, broad match modifier. It's no longer supported by Google, the plus signs. So uh, you could screenshot this if you'd like, but this is what I would recommend uh, going to, to, uh, to using something like phrase match like this, okay? Uh, where you put the quotations in there, okay? So that's really what you wanna use, the, the one with the quotations, and that's gonna be the one you wanna help. This, if you really wanna study it, again, broad match is no longer used, it's no longer supported. So these are the different options you have, but you wanna stick to the quotations that's going to get you the best one so this is what a basic ad will look like okay a basic ad will look something like this a more advanced ad will look something like this does not cost more money between this and this doesn't cost you more money you just have to put in the time to set it up look how look how much of a monster ad this is it takes up like the space of two three ads versus something like this this is what our ads usually look like oops sorry they have the, the headers, they have the description, they have the site links, they have a picture. That's what you want to see. That's what you want your ads to look like. Okay. That's a, a highly optimized part of your ad. Again, it just takes time to do it. Once you do it, you know, it's, it's there. Best practices for ad copy. Remember, like I just said, you want to capitalize the first letter of each word. You want to have an attention grabbing headline. You want to have the most important message in the headlines. Okay. Don't, don't, you know, don't put gimmicky stuff up there. Just put the most important thing. We rent balance houses to Chicago, period. You just let them know that that's what you do. You want to have a high volume of keyword and proper pronunciation in the headlines, and you want to use the top keywords in the descriptions as well. And you also want to use like an intriguing description that's clear, and you want to have a clear call to action like book now or, or call today. Okay. Uh, this is something you can screenshot. Again, you guys can rewatch this. Um, and then you want to have that top keyword in the display URL, like I showed you guys, that URL path. What are some reasons that your ad will be disapproved? This is a common, okay? Um, <clears throat> typos, all caps, cursing, or if you're promoting gambling, alcohol, pornography, weapons, or tobacco. Tariq, why are you telling me this? Uh, believe it or not, a lot of your ads will get, um, uh, they will get disapproved. A lot of them for, uh, I mean, I've, I've gotten a lot, gambling is a big one. Because we have games, sometimes Google will think those games are gambling. Uh, alcohol, if you do, uh, if your website talks about uh, like the giant beer pong, uh, it'll it'll disapprove your ads because your website, even if your ad doesn't talk about alcohol or beer pong, your website does, so they may disapprove it. So just be careful with that. Uh, just having extra explanations, uh, uh, explanation points, or uh, or putting gimmicky stuff like buy now or like a bunch of explanation part, uh, points, using unnecessary symbols putting a bunch of capitalizations or emojis, that's all stuff that's gonna get your ads to be disapproved. So what now? There's a lot more to talk about. I know I told you guys I stick to an hour. We're kind of getting there. Um, actually right at an hour. 
conversion tracking is something you want to set up. It's very complex. It's not very easy, but uh, it, it's that's where you can actually track those conversions. Monitoring the results. Okay, you want to monitor the results and optimize the account, and really just keep learning, right? You just want to keep learning this stuff. Um, and very, really important, I just have to put this out there. Don't be cheap to invest in yourself. If that means you have to take courses, if that means you have to hire somebody and learn from them, if that means you have to spend a little more on ads, this is the number one place that's going to make you money. So you really, really want to do that. You guys can totally do this. Uh, let me show you guys some of the stuff that I told you guys about. Um, I know we talked about, so I gave you guys the um, the $500 free ad credit. I'll tell you guys about the click fraud protection, but if you guys want double the results in a fraction of the time, then you just need to hire somebody, right? That's what we do. So I'll tell you guys a little bit about what we do and I'll tell you guys our, our offer. Uh, again, if you do everything that I showed you today, you may have to rewatch this video a couple times, but if you do that, you're gonna be in good shape. Uh, but again, what usually happens is people will, will watch my video, they'll set up their ads. This is the, the third. This is the third year that I do this video. And every time, every year, people, um, they'll watch the video, they'll set up the ads, and then they'll forget about them and then their cost goes way up or their clicks go way down. They're like, what happened? Well, your competitors started running ads. It's an auction. You have to stay competitive. You have to stay on top of it. You can't just set it and forget it. Okay. So why should you hire us or why should you hire a professional? You want to always look for the two R's. We have the two R's. We have results and we have reviews. Those are the two things we, you should be looking at. Too many people go by uh, what people say. Hey, man, I'm going to do your Google ads. Okay. What kind of results can I expect? Can you show me? What kind of reviews do you have? We have both of those things. <clears throat> so. These are some results that I've showed you guys before on some of my other videos. Uh, this company got, they made 500% ROI. The following year, they made 3,200% ROI. We're getting better every year. This is a multi-million dollar company. They made 2,000% ROI. Next year, they made 3,000% ROI. Like they literally, they spent 16,000 in, in one year on Google Ads. Uh, yeah, 16,000. They made half a million dollars just from one, this one Google Ads account. This company spent $2,000 on Google Ads in one year and they made $76,000 fully trackable. So we have the results. We also have the reviews. If you guys go to our Facebook page, you'll see a ton of reviews uh, that sp speak specifically about our Google Ads program. So we have, these are just some of the ones that you guys can pause and read, you know, when you rewatch this uh, specifically that talk about Google Ads that I pulled out real quick. So we have those. So you know, you know that we know what we're doing. Um, and then we have two bonus R's, retention and reporting. These are big, um, adding these on because it's important too, you know, we have the results, we have the reviews but our customers stay with us, right? We have customers all over the country, all over the world really, and they stick with us and we, we do reporting. This is, I based my entire program, everything that we do with the Hawk around reporting because I tell everybody, my team hates me at times because of how strict I am at this. We have to report to the customer in a way that's clear, consistent, and makes sense. So for Google Ads specifically, we text our customers every two weeks. If you're watching this and you're running Google Ads with us, please comment. Tell them, tell them the truth. <laughs> we, it's annoying sometimes. We will text you every two weeks and say, hey, Bob, this is how many clicks we got. This is how much you spent. This is how much money we made you. And let me know if you want to change anything up. We do that every two weeks consistently. Uh, a, a, an actual person will go in and look at your ads and send you that text and see if you want to change anything. That's really important because a lot of times you pay somebody, you really don't know what they do, right? So we're big on that. Uh, we do the reporting and our team is just, it's built, our team is made up of uh, party rental business owners. We're already trusted by hundreds. We have the proven results and we have tons of five-star reviews. So this is what our program offers. We do the Google ads for you, specifically for party rentals. We will create and manage all those ad campaigns, the ad groups, the keywords, extensions. We'll do all that for you. you literally, it's done for you. You won't have to do anything. Um, we give you the, maxima, the maximum amount of eyes on your ads within a certain budget. So you'll say, Tariq, I wanna spend 10 bucks a day We'll get you as many eyes on that ads for, for, for that much, and we'll get you the lowest possible cost per click. We know how to do that to get you the highest possible clicks. So we give you the highest quality clicks for the lowest possible cost, and we get to you get you the highest possible click rate. So the percentage of people that see your ads and click it. And then we will set up your conversion tracking so that you know exactly how much money, how much how many leads, how many phone calls if you want to, uh, that you made from, from those um, ads. We have click fraud protection, which I'll show you in a sec and uh, we have clear, consistent, bi-weekly reporting. That's what we do in our program. I don't know what other programs do, I don't know what other guys do, but I've never seen a program that's as robust as this uh, for party rentals <clears throat> or anything else really. So we're very proud of what we do, uh, but click fraud protection. So this is actually really cool. Uh, <clears throat> this is something new that we're rolling out. We, we offered it to our premium packages before, but uh, so if you're already running ads with us and you're watching this and you want this, 
It's free. You just have to reach out to us. If you sign up and you're new, then we're going to do this for all people. We will literally, we, we invest a lot of money into a program called Clixies. That's what we're using now. Um, <clears throat> that will uh, track if your competitor's clicking your ads or if it's a bot or if it's an accidental click that still costs you or if it's just somebody that hates your brand. They, they could track that stuff and we will work to stop those clicks. That gets you, that saves your money. Here's what happens. Sometimes somebody will click your ad and then they'll, they'll, they'll go back and then they'll click your ad again, right? The same person will click your ad twice. This will work to that when they see your ad one time and they click it, they don't see your ad again because they've, they've already visited your website. They can see you organically or they can go back at the back button, but sometimes the same person will hit your ad two, three times and they'll use up your $10, right, by, by themselves. Or maybe it's your competitor that's searching and every time they see your, your ad, they just click, 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 click just to waste your Google ad spend. It happens, you know, we hear about it. Um, it's impossible to track unless you have something like this. So we include this in all of our programs so that that $10 that you, that you have a day or $20 goes a lot farther and you don't have to worry about your competitors clicking your ads. Because when somebody searches bounce house rentals near me, you do it. You see your competitor up there and you know it's an ad, now you know it's an ad. Every time they click, it costs you money. So there's people that'll just keep clicking, clicking, clicking to waste your money so that their ads show up and not yours. We protect you from that with our program. So how much do we charge? That's a big question, right? I'll tell you what we don't charge. I got a quote from a big company that does a lot of party rental companies. They, they help a lot of party rental companies. They quoted me $2,000 for the first month and then $1,100 every month after that. I, I kid you not. And I had to spend a minimum of $1,000 to $4,000. That was their rule, okay? Um, that's just how it is. That's how these marketing companies are. That's just, you know, of course you can find, you know, some guy that, that'll do it for you. He'll charge you hundred bucks or whatever. You get what you pay for. Uh, but <clears throat> legitimate marketing companies, this is what they charge for Google ads. It's, it's a lot, but it's honestly, if it's done right, it's worth a thousand dollars a month. We don't charge a thousand dollars. That's not what we charge. We don't even charge $500. But I want to ask you guys a question. What if we did, if we were charging $500 a month for everything that I just showed you, you get all this stuff that I just showed you here. You get these kind of results and you get managed by, by party rental business owners that have reviews, that have a process. Is it worth 500 bucks a month? It totally is. It really, really is. Because if I can get you one rental that's 500 bucks in one month, then it's paid for itself. We could get you a lot more usually. Uh, and if we can't, if there's a problem with your website, we, we tell you why, but it's really worth it. But that's not what we charge. You know, you, we also include this the click fraud protection, all these things that we do. So how much does it cost, Tariq? Stop pulling my tail, just tell me how much it is. I'm sick of you talking. Um, you get all this stuff for not a thousand, not $500. Our program starts at $200 per month for party rentals. That's it. We have from we have programs from 200 to $400. The way that we built these uh, uh, these uh, deals is based on how big your company is uh, or how much, how many products you wanna organize, you wanna market. So if you just want to market bounce houses, you pay less than if you want to market bounce houses and water slides. <clears throat> or maybe you just want to market water slides. The more work we have to do, the more we're going to charge you. The cool thing is we don't charge you a commission. There's a lot of uh, companies that they'll charge you a commission or depending on how much you spend. No, we charge you a flat rate based on if you just want to market just bounce houses, that's all we're going to charge you for. If you want to market 10 different things, then there's a different rate. So if you go to our website, eventhawk360.com and you click on... Let me show you guys that. <clears throat> I'll send you guys the link in the comments right now. So if you go to eventhawk360.com and you click Google Ads, that'll take you right to where you can sign up here. I'll send you that link. And when you go there, it breaks down kind of the packages. So here you go. So our basic program is $200 a month and you can market bounce houses or water slides or tents just pick any one thing okay no contract cancel anytime you just have to pay your, uh, your ad spend um if you have the uh if you want to do bounce houses and water slides then it's 297 if you want to do up to five category bounce houses water slides tents uh, obstacle course all that stuff then it's 400 dollars a month it's really a no-brainer i'm going to put the link right now uh, in the comments and up for our google ads program here and once you sign up now, for some of you guys, you're like, Tariq, can I sign up now and, and start later? Yes, you can. Uh, I mean, space is limited because we, we only have so many people that can run ads uh, in, our, in our team. So if you really want to get in and if you really want to do this, you can pay today and say, Tariq, I want to start in March. Google Ads is pretty instant, right? So it works very, very fast. Um, if you guys want these kind of results, then, then that's what you want to do. So um, you can sign up online once you click it. 
uh, and you pick a program, uh, it, it gives you, it says, you know, which one do you want? You put in your credit card and then we collect that information. We say, hey, what do you want to market? Uh, how much do you want to spend? Uh, you know, per week, what areas do you want to market? So that's pretty much how it works. Um, and honestly, I mean, the one thing I want to tell you guys is for a lot of you guys, it's like, you know, I, I don't want to spend money. If you keep doing what you're doing, you're going to keep getting what you got. I love this quote right here. It's one of my favorite quotes. I think it was Henry Ford that said this, but I'm, I was there. I was there and for years I would start a business and fail, start another business and fail because I, I was, I never wanted to pay anybody to do, I wanted to do it all myself. I was cheap and uh, I was just like, you know, man, like, you know, but I realized that I, every time I started something, I did the same thing and I expected different results. You got you to try, you got to invest in yourself. I mean, it's an investment, uh, 200 bucks. I mean, it's, it's, it's one month, you try it for a month. If it doesn't work or if we suck, then you say, hey man, forget it. You lost 200 bucks, big whoop. At least you don't have to wonder what if. We're the best at what we do, I can say that confidently. So I would, this is the program that I'm most confident in. We do a lot, we do SEO, we do Facebook ads, Instagram ads, we have EventHawk. Between, if you had to pick, if you did EventHawk, the software, and Google Ads, anybody who's done that, they could tell you, it's, it's just, it's too much. Too much work is what it generates. Uh, but again, Google Ads is something you can turn on and off whenever you want. So uh, I did put in the link, those are the programs once you uh, and that's pretty much it so real quick i did also promise you guys the other events that we're doing this week i didn't put that link so i'm gonna put the all right so i just also put in the link for the other events that we have going on this week we have wednesday uh we have two events wednesday and one Thursday. Thank you guys. You guys have been awesome. Uh, if you guys have any questions, you guys can uh, text, the, put, comment the word meet in the comments. Just put the word meet and I'll send you the link to 